Hi everyone, it's Derek from the I Ready podcast here and this is my reaction to the 4-1 victory over Dundee United in the Premiership today. Fantastic result, ended up being a really good performance, a few shaky moments throughout the game. Certainly McGregor had to pull off a few more saves than we would all have liked but that's what we've got a great keeper at the back for and we done the job in, in the end of the day. Another three points, unfortunately it wasn't a clean sheet um, but you know it's the three points that all that matters. I would take a 2-1, I would take a 3-1 it doesn't really make a difference as long as we get the three points. Four changes from the Royal Antwerp game, obviously with Roof and Tavernier out as well, injured. Into the first half, it was quite a frustrating first half despite us being ended up being two goals in front. Before the goals, McGregor made about two or three top saves to keep us at 0-0. Dundee United wear Kavner back line up on a number of occasions, which was really disappointing to see. They were almost walking through it, which from a solid defence this year was really disappointing. But... You know, as I said, that's why we've got McGregor at the back as well, just a top class keeper. We were quite slow for the first half an hour. The usual thing of allowing the opposition a lot of time to regroup and any quick breaks that we did have were kind of nullified by the time we got to the final third because we had slowed down that much. Aribo, though, was absolutely outstanding the whole game. Certainly the best player in the first half. He ended up being the best player in the, in the second half as well. He was really agile. He was really tricky with the defenders and he was involved in our first goal which was on the 35th minute and had you scored lots of possession down the right hand side got to the touchline there was a pass to Aribo at the corner of the edge of the box he shimmies with the ball cuts inside hits a shot goal bound it was a slight flick off the boot of Hadji whether he meant it I'm not too sure but it went in the back of the net nonetheless I think it even went through the keeper's legs so I've said time and time again and my mate slagged me for it this is what happens when you have a shot and in the second goal, we kind of powered on from there and we were just in complete domination from there. And two minutes later, we got the second with, I think it was an OG, but Kent was certainly involved as well. It was good play and possession, ending on a good cross to the back post by Barisic, cleared by the defender, but only to the edge of the box to the centre. Kent fires a volley which deflects off the defender and into the back of the net. So certainly the ball was goal bound. I think the, the deflection did put it in. So I think it was a, a, an OG, but I don't care how they come as long as we get the ball in the back of the net. That's main thing. So a complete role reversal going into half time. As I said I think Dundee United were probably the in terms of chances, clear cut chances they were by far the better team there but we had more of the possession, more of the play they were certainly dangerous going forward but they two quick succession goals completely knocked the stuffing out of them and uh, it continued on for the second half because in the 48th minute Aribo came up with an absolute stunning goal it was a throw in from the left picked up by Aribo who passes inside to Morelos who passes back to him perhaps maybe a heavy flick by Morelos didn't matter though whatsoever for Aribo because he collected it calmly who gets to the edge of the box and hits a fantastic shot past the keeper which is an all round outstanding goal at that point the game was completely Completely wrapped up. We made a couple of substitutions at that point, quite rightly so. And then on the 63rd minute, we went 4 0 up with Morella scoring. The ball was knocked to Morellas at the halfway line. He knocks the ball forward, appears to knock it too far, and it was maybe a lost cause, but he kept on running. The defender ended up getting the ball first. The key, he passes to the keeper who tries to kick it upfield, but Morellas, the ever present, he just jumped into it. It might have hit off his shoulder, I don't care. The referee gave it, and it was in the back of net. Not the classiest of finishes, Morellas is ever scored but he's not going to give a damn either way he, he got the goal racks up to his his tally so it's, it's good to see as well he was certainly deserving of a goal over the last couple of games especially after the Antwerp game how outstanding he was we could have made it 5-0 when there was a penalty in the 66 minute Morelos brought down in the box clear penalty no arguments whatsoever Arfield just before the referee blew the whistle had an outstanding shot in it from outside the box and it cracked off the bar and back out but, uh, so it was really unlucky that shot there but the referee blew for a penalty we made a couple of substitutions in that time as well Morelos and Helen are off Defoe and Simpson on and Barisic scored two against Antwerp however he missed this penalty third penalty in a row he's, he's taken Taken and he's hit all three to the right hand side he got maybe a wee bit fortunate with the first one, second one clear cut and this one was maybe slightly poor it wasn't far enough into the corner, the keeper made a good save mind you. The game was done at that point anyway, but however United drew a goal back on the 86 minute, just poor defending, the attacker picked up the ball at the edge of the box on the right, cuts inside to the middle and hit a more or less of a trundler into the bottom left corner past McGregor really poor, allowing him to, to get the, sh the shot off and maybe McGregor a wee bit too far off his 
his line, but keepers tend to, to play a wee bit off the line and you really can't fault McGregor considering he had saved us maybe two or three times in the game already. So, But it doesn't matter anyway. Three points nonetheless. The only disappointing thing was that Jack had picked up an injury. I don't know if it was, he was having a wee niggle before the game uh, and he came off. He wasn't moving free enough in the first half and he came off. Hopefully, mainly only as a precaution. Hopefully it's not going to be too long, a, too long an out because he's, he's brilliant when he comes on and he's playing as well. An update from the, the gaffer as well today is that Roof and Tavernier are only going to miss about, about three weeks at the most so hopefully there's no complications um, certainly Balogun slotted in very well today, granted there was a few defensive um, issues as well with them allowing United to waltz through the defence on occasion but that's by the by, we, the defence ultimately done their job as well as the keeper, we got the three points, we roll on three games to go, obviously depending on what happens with Celtic later on tonight so that leads us into the next game against Royal Antwerp on Thursday. That's a 17.55 kickoff in the pole position, obviously, with the win in the last game and the four away goal. So we just need to play as well as we can do and uh, can't try and shut up the defence as well when we need to because they can be still obviously quite dangerous. I don't think they've done anything fancy or anything like that. We almost gifted them through, gifted them the goals, but we still need to be wary nonetheless. Dave and I won't be back this week with a podcast probably the following week. However, you can always go to our website, which is iReadyPodcast.wordpress.com, and you can check out all the stuff that we do there. So, enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.